finish this uh, task stuff. The war takes a heavy toll, even here in Tavoli. War affects everyone. These poor people have lost friends and family, and fled their homes for fear of being the next victims. They escape south, but their lives aren't any easier. Whatever food we can supply is sent north to fuel the Berthorpe army. I can't hunt or cook. I can't provide them with what they need. Oh, thank you. This area is rich with wildlife and the soil is fertile. But the other adventurers are too busy taking care of themselves. Yes, I'll fish some fish. <laughs> fish some fish. Oh, burnt stuff stacks. Awesome. Thank you, RuneScape, for doing something useful for once. That's probably the best update that I've seen so far since the last time I played. Can you actually eat it or is it just going to tell you you can't? Level two. Looks like I'm getting up there. The only good thing about this whole interface update bullshit is you can, like, have everything organized. So it's not so like I have to click this and then click this just to check this and then click that. Even though they ruined hybriding, I mean, this game is actually fun to people who like MMOs. And I certainly do. Yeah, level two. Damn, seven burnt codfish. That's why I don't like, or I didn't like playing RuneScape before. It took me like two and a half years to get a or to get to a level that would make the game more fun, like PKing and stuff, not just These sitting here killing shit and doing quests. Really need some and then I lost it because some douchebag hacked me. And now you guys are gonna be like, "Oh, well, don't share your stuff. You don't." Don't download stuff. Don't click links. I didn't. I don't even know how it happened. It happened. I quit. Got a new account from a friend. It happened again. Fucking done with this game. Give food. Taste. Oh my god. Goodness. Tasty shit. Wow. That's what she said. I'm so hungry. Thanks so much. Oh my god, you're so welcome. Finally, everyone said, Bless you. I don't want to be melodramatic, but you really saved lives today. How the fuck 
do I close this shit? Whatever. I'm sure. Thank you for telling me again. Oh, yeah, I have to do this stupid thieving bullshit. Even though I'm not a member, I'm pretty sure they made me a member for a week for this bullshit. But, like, what's the point of making me a member if I'm just gonna have banks? Be that is a really sneaky plan, Jagex. You are sneaky bastards, you know that? If you guys don't figure that one out, they make people member, a member, for about a week after they first create an account. M thus giving them a bunch of items and then making them want to become a member so that they can have more space without having to drop a bunch of member items. Sneaky sneaky jacket, sneaky sneaky. How come this guy doesn't talk? What the fuck? Okay, okay. You do not need to be this long. That is what she said, I know. I know. Sorry, once I have this all organized, I won't have to do it anymore, but... Oh my god. Snap down here. There you go. And then snap that back over there. Put this right there. There we go. Now we have an organized thing. Okay. We're under attack, but many of the richer citizens are hampering the war effort with their greed. Keep an eye out for opportunities to do something about it. A pocket or two. Pickpocket a pompous merchant to put his money to better use. Yes, thy majesty. I shall do that. Get over here, you pamperous bitch. Oh. I'm gonna thieve you, and I'm gonna thieve you again. Thieve you again, and thieve you again, and thieve you again. You oaf, be gone. You oaf, be gone. Fuck you. I will fuck your world up. Hello? I want to try and cook it. No, wait. What? Uh, wait, what am I doing? Um. Okay, RuneScape. Okay. DC. Be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. Kind of froze. I think it was the uh, Jagex servers, but whatever. Anyways, continuing. Trade. Sell. Fucking crayfish. I don't care. You 
Yes, I will. Oh my god, that moves so much faster now. I remember when it used to be like... Oh my god, I can't even move as slow. It used to be like... What do I talk to this dude? Hello. Hey, looking for work? What sort of work? Just a little job I need doing. See, there's a merchant upstairs. I need a little lift. I'll do it myself. I do it myself, but I'm more than more into the legitimate document business these days. If you want me to rob him? That doesn't sound very heroic. Keep your voice down. He's not a very nice bloke, right? He's Rolo the Stout. He's currently buying up all the food in the area on, a, on the cheap and selling it to the refugees at a high, a huge markup. Well, that isn't very nice, but two wrongs don't make a right. Just listen, will ya? All I need is his seal. I've... Oh my god, I can't speak like all these fucking British people. I don't know what if it would be British. I think it's British because he sounds like he's in Call of Duty right now. Um, <coughs> I don't know why it isn't playing the voice. Accept the quest. You mean poison him, not poison, poison. Just something that, that'll put him in the infirmary for a while. Well, I suppose it's not so bad. Ooh, you can hold it down. That's so much faster. Thank you. Okay. Um, settings. Audio settings. Music needs to be a little bit higher. Ah, uh, I don't know why it isn't playing the... What's up? There we go. Okay. Now I don't have to fucking read it off. Not that I don't mind reading, just kind of failed English for the fact that I can't really read that well. Perfect grammar, though. Not when I'm talking, obviously, or otherwise I would have said something more intelligent. You gather some fishing bits from the dead troll. Uh, I need some wheat. And loading screen. I need to go to the windmill. Oh wait, guess we don't have to go to the windmill. Oh wait, yeah, this is the windmill. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hated it making any kind of uh cake and stuff in older Inkscape because of how complicated it was just to make one fucking cake. I used to have that worry when I used to play older Inkscape, like when they used to have you uh, make a cake for the fucking cook's quest or whatever, I used to think when I was making it that somebody was gonna go down and take my fucking flour. I was gonna freak out. What's up? Then I remembered you can't really do that, so. That's perfect. Don't worry. I'll take care of making this into a pie shell for you in a moment. We also need to fill the pie with something pretty nasty. What we need first is a raw crayfish. I want you to go and get one and bury it in a field. Just shove it right into the dirt and then let it <laughs> ripen for a bit. Just use either the flax field, wheat field or the animal pen for the job. The flax field is closest. It's in the northwest of here near the master farmer's shop and the well. And don't forget, when you are done, you should come and see me and show me your work.
but first, let me take care of that flower for you. Okay, here we go. Continuing, continuing. Crate fish. Ugh. Whoops, 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 whoops. Flux failed. That shit dirt. I'm gonna cook this real fast. Might as well. I'm gonna need food later on anyways if I'm of any hope of training. Level four chocolate milk. You can make chocolate milk. How are the fish biting? Oh, Sarah Dobin. That thing stinks. Just looking at it makes me want to vomit. Perfect. Only one thing left. To give the pie a little more body, we'll have the potato. I want you to go and get a raw potato and shove it down a kebbit hole. If you don't have a potato, then Head Farmer Jones might well have one you can use. Kebbit burrows are full of hair and droppings and all other kinds of nasty waste. So if you just shove it in there and pull it out, it'll be okay. Well, I say okay. Potato. My hands don't feel clean. Well, no shit, dude. You just put your hand in a shithole. Literally a natural toilet. How's that pie coming along? I don't want to see it. I'm wretched just thinking about it. Now you have everything, you should stick the crayfish and potato inside the shell and take it to the range to cook. Because my nose hairs are bleaching. It's subtle clues like that which give it away. That is disgusting. Range cookout oven. Thing stinks. Mm -hmm. Never eat that unless we do something to master smell. I have an idea though. One of Rolo's fellow merchants, Foppish Pierre, has been hanging around the mill. carries a supply of spices on him all the time. So, just go and grab those spices from Pierre and add them to the pie. Then you can take it up to Rolo and see if he swallows it. Mm, 
mouth watering pie in my ass. Look at this fat fuck right here. That's me. What is this? This is not the scrumptious red berry in distressed quail pie I demanded. Well, that's not my problem. Maybe he didn't torment the quails for as long as I specified. But whatever this is, it does smell delicious. Oh, really? Then I suppose I might try a portion. What is it called? A crayfish a la mank? I can't say I've ever heard of a crayfish a la mank before. to make up for not being able to make the pie I ordered. Well, that's quite nice of you. And that if this pie tastes nice, then I might even pay him for it. Thanks. Yes, yes, that's all very well. You're about to get fucked up, dude. A crayfish a la mank, eh? Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Wonder how many times it took them to get that throw up sound effect. <gasps> oh God, there's more. Well, well, <laughs> Rolo certainly won't be causing any more trouble for a while. Don't, don't even talk about that. I'm still queasy from seeing what he did to the stairs as they carted him out. <laughs> they had to sluice them down with buckets and mops. Oh, terrible. But at least the stains are all gone now. Well, with Rolo out of the way, you can go up and steal the seal from his chest. We best move fast, in case he decides to send for it when he comes round. Is there anything else you need to know? No, I do not need to know anything else. Okay, chest. Open the chest. Great. Let's... Done. Now just take it to Pierre, and we're home. Don't forget to come back. And see me when you're done, okay? For me? Really? Maybe someone found my spices. Don't joke around with me, you, you messenger. Give me that note. What madness is this? He wants me to open the food stores, 
For free? Is he demented? I... I have to contact some people. Leave me. Leave me to my despair. You fucking emo child. God. Everybody in this goddamn game is annoying. Uh, that's what I get for playing a British game, I guess. Well, looks like we're done. I'll let, and it's all thanks to you. There is that. Good point. But for now, let's. Cooking, thieving, spice patches, blah blah blah. skills that I can't use. Don't panic! Don't... Don't panic, citizen! Um, it's all under control! But I'm not panicking, citizen! It's Lubridge, citizen! You must have heard, both Saradomen and Zamorak have returned to Gillenor and are fighting there! You should leave it to us professional citizens. It's, it's all under control! Lots of people have ignored us and gone to the battlefield, citizens. They've been joining up with Saradomen or, or Zamorak. But you don't have to do that, citizen. We have it all under control! Yeah, bullshit. Well, people have been going to the camp to the north of the battlefield to join Taradomen. The generals have been offering rewards to everyone who will join their court. But don't panic, citizen, because we have it all under control. The battlefield is to the west of Lumbridge Castle. There are camps to the north and the south, and there's fighting. Don't panic, citizen. <laughs> Someone's a bitch. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome. We are here because more than mere trolls threaten these lands. In the cave to the south, Strange creatures of ooze are gathering. My companion Turiel is an expert on the slaying of unusual monsters and tasks adventurers to deal with them. Hello, and what are you after then? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm a slayer master. I train adventurers to learn the weaknesses of seemingly invulnerable monsters. To learn how, you need to kill specific monsters. I'll identify suitable targets and assign you a quota. That makes sense. The Slayer sounds so much more interesting than it actually is. We'll start you off hunting gelatinous abominations. You'll need to kill five of them. You'll also need this enchanted gem. It allows Slayer Masters like myself to contact you and update you on your progress. Don't worry if you lose it. Can buy another from any Slayer Master. Good luck. Don't forget to come. Trolls are one thing, but there are stranger monsters in the world. Well. Whatever, I guess. Get rid of that. Whoops. Over there. Let's go kill some bitches. I don't like how this game's practically pay to win. Like, everything. You have to be a member. All the abilities, half the armor, 
almost every single skill. Practically playing a demo that takes forever to find out that you can't do anything. This is no place for a stroll, friend. The creatures here are very unusual. I'm Ariane, by the way. An adventurer and sorceress. The bravest of the brave? That sounds very impressive. What's your basis for comparison? <laughs> I see. You know all those brave people? Well, well I'm braver than them. Source of these creatures. As you're so brave, lead on. We need to explore the cave. I'll follow your lead. Baked potato would be here. Other cow, perfect. Shall continue. Dead, bitch. Mine spike. Water toss, man. Couldn't have defeated that shaman alone. Shaman. Shaman. Now he's <coughs> dead. He won't be making any more of these things. The ones that are left should be confined to the cave and won't pose a serious danger to Tavali. Indeed. There are many more mysteries in Gillenor deserving my attention, so I'll take my leave. I'm sure we'll meet again. Okay, fucking Ancients teleport. That's so realistic. Automatically does fucking the slayer abilities. That's awesome. Very useful. One abomination left, and you are dead. One more to go, that makes no sense. Whatever. I will come over here and I did kill you. That's so brutal. Poorly cooked bird meat. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Whoops. No, it's over here. Exit cave.
Hello, and what are you after then? We don't want everyone overhearing your assignment. So I'm going to write it down on this piece of paper. Uh, 18 pigs. Good luck. Don't forget to come back when you need a new assignment. I'm guessing that's how they got rid of the having to um, do a voice for every monster in RuneScape. Lazy fucks. I would if I was making the game. No matter how long it takes, it would still be uh, challenging. Where the fuck are pigs, dude? I don't remember ever seeing pigs in RuneScape. Okay. Well, with that being said, I am going to continue playing and update you guys the next time I feel like recording, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, if you liked the video, or like you just this got you back into RuneScape because you know everything's changed and it's a lot nicer. Um, feel free to like the video. If not, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, it's fine. I'm not gonna hold it against you. I'm not gonna find where you live and beat the shit out of you or anything. But I'd really appreciate it because I am trying. I, at the moment, I'm almost at eighty dollars. I have like seventy six, I think, in my AdSense account. And if I get to a hundred. Which shouldn't be too hard, I mean, as long as I get, like, over 100 views on each video, I mean, I can get close to about 90 bucks from, like, five or six videos. Um, I mean, like, after how much I have right now, but, uh, yeah, so then I can pay for membership and keep continuing and so on and so forth. But, uh, right now it's just gonna be a free-to-play Let's Play, so stay tuned for the next couple episodes, and I will see you guys later.